Welcome guys. As you know currently two new events are in the game right now. The legendary event, the beast that devours the sun and the training events. In this video, after giving it some thought, I've figured out how to take advantage of both events simultaneously. The very first thing you have to do is complete every battle of both events at least one time, including single player mode and multiplayer mode. And collect all the first time rewards. In the legendary event, if you'll collect first time rewards, you'll automatically unlock the chapter, Shining New Friend and get Solgaleo. After getting him complete the remaining battles in the event and get all the first time reward. Now your main goal is to unlock the level cap of Solgaleo to the max and level up to max level. For unlocking the level cap, you can take help from the store items of the legendary event. Collect required buff blends and unlock the level cap to the max 120 level. Now your second goal is to level up Solgaleo enough so that you'll win every time in auto mode in the challenge, Team Break Part 2. This is the team that is best for this challenge in auto mode. So you'll need to level up Rosa and Skyla, too. For that, collect enough aid aid from the training event shop to unlock their level cap to the max level. Although you need to only unlock Rosa's level cap to the max 120 level. For Skyla 90 level cap is enough to win auto mode 100% of the time. Now we have grass type training event, so we're going to upgrade Rosa's level using an auto clicker in that event. For that, We'll use this type of configuration for super hard mode. Very hard mode. Hard mode. and normal mode. Just make sure that the first button will not touch anything else while battling. Always see auto clicker winning 3 to 4 battles easily before you leave the mobile unattended. Select any one configuration from that which your team containing Rosa can win 100% of the time in auto mode. Now as you'll level up Rosa, you'll also get level up manuals. So you can use them to level up Solgaleo and Skyla. Now, as you have upgraded your team enough that they'll win 100% of the time in Challenge Team Break Part 2. 
You can use an auto clicker to collect custom voucher too. This is the configuration you can use to collect custom voucher too. The custom voucher 2 that you have collected, will be used in the legendary event shop to upgrade your Solgaleo Sync move to the max level and to collect custom power up. And there's not just one custom power up in the shop but there are total 20 to increase its potential to the max. But each new custom power up will appear after you buy one. And the new custom power up will require more vouchers than previous one. So from now on only focus on upgrading Solgaleo to the max level and potential. Because Solgaleo requires custom items for upgrading. Which you'll never get after the event is over. Don't spend much time in training events because they'll come and go very often but when this Solgaleo legendary event will come back, we never know. At last, follow the steps in the video and keep grinding the custom voucher too until Solgaleo is maxed out in every way possible. I'll upload a video in near future about what to do after you have upgraded Solgaleo to the max. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.